Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of VGU Talks, where we have a nice chat about something that's happening in the world of games. I'm done with the X Protocols from VideoGamesUncovered.com, and today we're looking over something truly groundbreaking, and I mean groundbreaking. It's not every day when you can do something first in a video game, whether it be completing the game first before anyone else, getting the game first before anyone else, or even speedrunning Dark Souls in an hour and a half first. There are a lot of firsts in video gaming, but this is a first which will go down in history as pure insanity, but also badassery. So let's have a look at this. So a World of Warcraft character by the name of Double Agent, who is a Pandaren, was playing as his panda character until he got to the final stages of the storyline quest within the Pandaren starting area, which can only be accessed by, get, you guessed it, Pandarans that start off the game. And once you complete the main story quest in that starting area, you then go off to your appropriate place, whether it be in Orgrimmar or whether it be with the Alliance. So what did this lone Pandaren think? He thought to himself that he didn't want to pick a faction, and he didn't want to pick a side, and he wanted to challenge the game in a way it had never been challenged before. Can he stay a Pandaren, and stay on the Pandaren starting area, all the way up to level 90, when the area is designed specifically to get from level 1 to level 10? He started his journey back in September 2012, and ladies and gentlemen, as of, the 21st of June this year, Double Agent has hit the maximum level of level 90. It took him 173.5 days of play, which adds up to about 4,164 hours. Ouch! And he intends to reach level 100 when the new expansion, Warlords of Draenor, is released in the coming months. This guy's insane, and I love him for doing things like this. It's things like this that make gaming epic, because there's people like this that go beyond the Call of Duty to do crazy and outrageous things that normal people just wouldn't try to basically break the fundamental values as to what a game can do. Wow. So you might be wondering, how the heck did he get up to level 90? Well, it took a lot of enemy killing, and it took a lot of mining spots and herbs, and general gathering. That's how he mostly got all of his experience from. He got it all from gathering, which was pretty friggin' nuts. So you just keep grinding up creatures until you're basically given zero or just one XP from all these creatures. And then you just go on a spree, picking up all the herbs, getting every single mining spot, and you just keep rinsing and repeating until you get up to that high level. And this is bearing in mind, he now has a level 90 character in a level 1 to 10 area. He has 16,500 gold, can't learn to ride a mount, can't access the auction house, doesn't have a mailbox, and doesn't even have the full class complement of skills. But does that bother him? Ch no. He wants to hit the level 100 stage. And even then, I never think this character is ever, and I mean ever, going to pick a faction. I think this character is going to be taken down in Blizzard, World of Warcraft, and just gaming history as that one character that never picked a side. And that's just epic. Whether you do play World of Warcraft and whether you don't play World of Warcraft, you cannot deny this is pretty friggin awesome. You know what the other awesome thing is though about all this? Blizzard also came out to congratulate him giving a massive congratulations double agent straight from Rigerius, the Blizzard community manager. Now what I'll also be doing, I'll be putting a link in the description below to the video of his final stages of getting up to level 90. You would also find it pretty hilarious because there's a part right at the end where all he needs is one resource pickup in order to get to the illustrious level 90 stage but someone steals it. Ooh, it's really hilarious. And he just shouts out, SOMEBODY STOLE IT! <laughs> it's absolutely hilarious. Please check out the entire video, because it's just nuts how he rinses and repeats 
and does all this just to get up to level 90. And just think, the video is only about 43 minutes long, imagine doing that for 173.5 days. Give that man a medal, Blizzard. He deserves it. And while you're at it, maybe put that character down in World of Warcraft history. Give him a little bit of a homage somewhere. That would be pretty friggin' sweet. But ladies and gentlemen, I am friggin' ecstatic about this. I find this absolutely insane and fantastic. But I want to know, what are your thoughts on this? Do you think this is truly amazing or do you think sh this guy should have gone outside played some football, met a girl, and friggin' lived his life. Because I know there's gonna be some people out there that's just thinking, Well, he did. He should have just lived his life like a normal person. Hey, look. He wanted to do this, and he did it, and he went there, and he nailed it. Well done, sir. High five from VGU. We think you're epic. So let me know what you think about this whole situation in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time for another edition of VGU Talks, where maybe, just maybe, we can also hit level 100. The race is on.